Uh, YouTubers, uh, Solar, DIY, Scarfield, logging on. It's been a minute. Uh, today's about Solar. Out of my 11,000 and change of Solar, nearly 12,000 watts of Solar I had, I um, removed one here, the set here, up on that roof, on the sunroof there, because um, we had to re-roof it after we re-roof up there. They uh, pushed all the nail and trash on the solar panel that was on that side. So we started to have leaks on the inside because of the nail and trash that backed up on the solar panel. Anyway, I removed the solar panel and let me tell you, probably about 40 pounds or 50 pounds of nails I took off the roof that was sitting underneath the solar panel there. So I took them down and uh, cleared up and took the opportunity to also re-roof over there. <laughs> I didn't put back any solar panel up there right now. So for now we have a total of 8,465 watts. That's it over there. My two solar tracker right here the big array over there and that one over there the one you see in the middle over there and that is for the outside up lighting that's over there so that sort of panel right there is facing dead east that sort of panel is facing east south not only that, this set of panel is facing east-south. Um, this set can also be tilt up and down with this motor right here. This is basically for the winter time. As you could see how close we are to the trees at the back here. So these sets of panel are really here to catch the sun over there in the morning time and really this one here help out a lot during winter time because the sun is much lower and the panel you see over there left of my arm uh, right over there those are my west facing and the trackers the two trackers you see right there they track from um east to west but let me show you how close it is to the roof as you can see how close it is the trees that i have here so by the time this panel face over in the morning time i think that's probably about 11 o'clock 10 11 when the sun come over so no in the summertime we just have maybe about this of shading this amount of shading from this panel when it's uh, facing east to pick up the sun throughout the east and this panel or these sets of panel right here this tracker they follow the sun throughout the entire day until it's right there yeah so in the evening time when the sun go behind the trees no we don't have any shading over here everything is quite fine yeah but these are my two trackers yeah, there they are. Been sitting here for a minute now. They work. They work pretty well. This is 800 watts sitting right here. 400 watts on each. <laughs> but they're series. It's one big series. Big, one big series. And um, here, this is one big series array because I also upgraded my inverter to a 10,000 watt 240 volt inverter four string input each string does uh, 500, 500 volts input so all this panel you see here is just one big array this panel you see here these are just one big array that will make two come down here all the six right here is series into six this is one big array and this one right here is 
one big array. So that's what's going on, you know. But you could also take a look at my backyard here. You know, some of you probably had to remember I had a swimming pool right there. We took that out. So now I'm in the process of building a, um, a patio over that. And then now, but we're gonna do a east-west patio. So I'll have solar panel on top of that. East and west. And um, these solar panels you see up here, those solar panels are for the batteries that are sitting over here. Oh, that's my shed. It's, you know, that's where I store all my uh, lawnmower equipment, hammer and saw and blower and so on. Literally everything you see here, uh, my wife and kids, myself, we did everything ourselves, including the fence. We put up the fence ourselves the solar panel, we pour the cement, we mix the cement with hand, and we build that shed ourselves. Same thing, this fence you see over here, we put up that fence. All them trees you see along the fence line, we plant them. This area here where you, the swimming pool used to be, that's a 25 foot diameter. We dig that out by ourselves with hand. After we put, take the pool out, we fill up with, with sand, and you're looking at 3,500 paper brick that we put down. Everything we do by ourselves. These are my firewood. That's my little fire pit right there. The inside of it is rotten out right now, but we're gonna put it together. So these are my firewood. Where did I get these from? From all the trees that you see along my property line here. When I'm cutting down or I'm altering or whatever it is, I save them for my firewood. So the solar panel you see over there on the roof of the shed, they, uh, in here I have um, eight Nissan Leaf battery. I used to have a um, Honda side battery right here. I took that out, gave it to somebody. So this battery up here is for the up lighting. That's go along my trees right there, likewise. It also plays my entertainment system that's sitting out here. Those are my four speakers. And this um, HQST charge controller, I don't know, it's been here for a minute now, working just the same, no issue whatsoever. It just work. It just work. I used to have the um, Little inverter right here, took it out, gave it to an uncle of mine who came down here on vacation. He's from the Bronx, so I gave it to him because I wasn't using it anymore. It's got better use, use for it. Those are my dart. Here is my dart board. And um, before we had all of this wood piled up here, we could have um, put our hammock on this thing right here, the train. And I would relax out here sometime in the hammock and just listen to the music. Even this um, shed uh, you see here, we used to call this our gazebo. We built this from scratch though. Everything we do. Everything me and the wife do. Same thing here. This is the 14 by 14. We pour the cement in this by hand and put down all these um, stones. This is a 14 by 14 slab. And, yeah, we do everything ourselves, but for now, we're not really sitting out here anymore. This is just for the wood. So there it is. So those are my firewood. As you can see, my palm trees growing there. And um, that's my uh, fire pit. The inside is rotten out, but we got a new insert for it. I'm not ready for it. I'm gonna put it together for the winter coming here. And then like I say, we're gonna build a gazebo out here. It's gonna be a 12 by 20 gazebo that uh, we're building out here. I bought it from Amazon. So it's gonna take me some time to put it together, but um, 
Everything you see here, Your Honor, we do it ourselves. We do it ourselves. Everything you see here, me, the wife, and the kids. We do it ourselves. Before we took the pool down, we used to have speaker wires coming over here because we had four speakers around the pool. Yeah. There, we did everything ourselves. Yeah, same thing over here. We poured the cement ourselves, we built this ourselves, you know, poured the cement there. Even the sunroom you see here. Me and the wife and the two kids, we built the sunroom. Yeah. We did everything ourselves. I re roofed this there, there by myself. And this is the vent. Because back in the days we used to barbecue in here. If in the winter time if we um, wanted to put a piece of chicken on the grill, at least you know. But there it is. So some of the tree fire what do you see down there? This is where they come from. And then we cut them out. So that's the look of my uh, backyard. And my solar panels over there. There. And like I can say we'll we're gonna have a um, 12 by 20 gazebo right here and then hopefully when it's up and running I'm gonna put an outdoor fire pit right here and a fire pit a um, barbecue um, belly barbecue um, grill out here and it's gonna be an east west roof so I'll definitely have solar panel facing east and west. As for the new inverter, it could take 15,000 watts of solar panel. Right now I have 8,664, 65 I think. You know, and so, this is my backyard, YouTubers. Are my DIY off-griders. But everything we do ourselves. Now let me take you in here. Oh, here's a mess right now. But um, that's my entertainment system for out here as well. That's the new insert for the fireplace you see outside there. And these are some of the parts for the um, gazebo that I bought from Amazon. So here's it. here it is. And it's gonna be uh, 12 by 20. Uh, there it is. These battery belong to my brother. These are um, Tesla battery. So I have two in a um, box for him. So there's three boxes here, six batteries. He wanted them to be separate with, with and it's a plug on board. So. That's why everything is about here for him. That I'm building for him. Anyway, uh, Garfield signing off.